Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. This video is part 2 of my discussion on the landing gear system. In this video, we will look at the extension and the retraction system of the landing gear along with the safety features associated with it. First, let's understand why an extension and retraction system is required on the landing gear. If the landing gear is not retracted, it will cause an increase in the parasitic drag. The parasitic drag is a combination of form drag or drag due to pressure difference and the profile drag. An increase in drag means that more fuel will be consumed which means more expenses. So to reduce the drag and the expenses, the extension retraction system is installed on the landing gear. Now let's look at the different types of extension and retraction systems. One of the most simple systems is the one that has a mechanical link. The gear is attached to a lever in the cockpit that will extend or retract the gear directly. This can be used only in very small lightweight aircraft having lightweight landing gears. Then we have electrically operated extension and retraction system that uses an electric motor. Another type of extension and retraction system is an electric hydraulic system which has an electric motor and a small hydraulic system. And finally, we have a hydraulic system which is installed in big commercial aircrafts. First, we will look at an electrically operated extension and retraction system. This system is installed on some small lightweight aircraft. The electrical motor produces a rotary motion that has to be converted into a linear motion. This linear motion is connected to the landing gear so that it can be extended or retracted. Next we will look at an electric plus hydraulic extension retraction system. This system is also found in some small aircrafts. In this system, there is a small hydraulic system with an electric motor. This motor uses hydraulic pressure which is controlled by a set of valves in order to extend or retract the gears. Now we will look at a full hydraulic extension and retraction system. This can be found in all large modern commercial aircrafts. The aircraft's hydraulic system supplies hydraulic pressure to extend or to retract the gear. So in these aircrafts, the extension and the retraction cycles are hydraulically operated and they are electrically controlled. These are monitored by something called as the landing gear control unit. Let's look at the retraction sequence in more detail. These gears on the aircraft are called as the main landing gears and this is called as the nose landing gear. The main landing gear will retract inboard and the nose landing gear will retract forward. Let's see how the extension and the retraction sequence changes if doors are also installed on the landing gears. On some aircrafts, separate doors are installed for the main landing gears and the nose landing gear. These doors are hydraulically operated and are installed 
to reduce the drag further. If we look at the extension sequence now, it becomes like this. The doors open, the landing gear extends and after full extension of the landing gear, the doors will close automatically. The retraction sequence will become like this. The doors will open, the landing gear retracts and after full retraction of the landing gear, the doors will close. Now we will look at some of the safety features on the landing gear extension retraction system. Each landing gear has an up lock and a down lock. The up locks engage when the landing gear is fully retracted into the fuselage and the down locks engage when the landing gears have fully extended. These locks are important because they lock the landing gear in the required position until a manual extension or retraction command is given by the pilot. Another safety feature on this system is the safety valve. This valve cuts off hydraulic pressure to the landing gears when it is retracted and as soon as the aircraft flies above a certain speed. This is to prevent accidental extension of the landing gear when the aircraft is in flight. This valve functions based on the aircraft speed. So as the speed reduces, the valve opens to allow the extension of the landing gear. The biggest safety feature that is provided in the extension retraction system is the gravity extension feature. This feature is useful in case of loss of hydraulics or loss of landing gear control unit or loss of electrical control. As the name suggests, this feature uses gravity to extend the landing gear so that the aircraft does not have to do a belly landing. The main landing gears fall and the downlock engages because of its weight. The aerodynamic forces push the nose landing gear and assist in its extension and the engagement of the downlock. So that's all about my discussion on the landing gears extension and the retraction system. I'll be making a few other parts for the landing gear system specifically. Till then, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and continue watching.